What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Screen 5 again. And we got confirmation today thanks to Total Magazine, the new interview that came out uh, on Games Radar. And of course we have the Total Magazine coming out this Thursday where we have new tidbits about the film to expect from the old and new cast and the directors. But Nev Campbell today has confirmed Sydney Prescott is indeed a mother. She also confirmed that Sydney Prescott does not stay in Woodsboro and... We got some new exciting images for in total. One of them I won't really talk about because that one was kind of already floating around. I was going to really be focused on the three that a lot of us haven't seen until today. So in this first image that we have here, we have Ghostface stalking what I would say looks like Cal Gowner's character of Vince. This shot here does look very... It looks, I'll just say it looks cool. Just from the headlights, Ghostface standing over his uh, presumably unconscious victim at this point i don't think that's kyle gowner's character of being officially dead i think if anything this would be something we all should again have maybe the thought in our thought in the back of our head that this is not him dying this is him being rendered unconscious he's probably going to be shown dying later on maybe in this same sequence but this is i don't think this is him being dead it just is another cool shot from the film that we have here or another cool image official still from paramount and then in the other image that we have we have Dewey and what looks like Sam Carpenter coming into an elevator. Now, I'm going to say what looks like is going on here, just like with the last one. It looks like that's just from the, the shot we saw of the trailer of Vince getting attacked when he goes to turn his car headlights off. That's what that looks like. That's from this shot here of Dewey and Sam going into the coming out of the elevator and going into the hospital. This looks like around the time of where we see Tara Carpenter or what we can only safely assume is Tara Carpenter based off of the shots of someone getting their legs stomped on at the ending of that first trailer Tara being shown crawling away from Ghostface getting dragged away and then we see someone in a wheelchair in the hospital getting stalked by Ghostface which can only be in my opinion it looks like it's safe to say that's Tara General Ortega surviving the opening attack this is Dewey and Sam coming to coming to save her after Ghostface goes on another attack attempt to take her out while she's going down the hallway, I would assume, in her wheelchair. And then from behind will be Dewey and Sam making their way into the hospital. Sam, I'm going to assume, makes her way over to Tara and Dewey and Ghostface have that little confrontation that we see teased in the trailer where they are shown fighting. Dewey, I'm going to assume, is going to be dying at this point in time, going out the hero that he's always been for having a big heart, like David Arquette has kind of talked about in another featurette that has been recently released. The last new image that we got was of Nev Campbell as Sidney Prescott wandering around what i can only assume is the now recreated mocker house at the end of the film i'm assuming is when this will take place of course after the big party that goes down which of course would end in bloodbath similar to the original this is her looking amazing as always and in the far left i just want to point out because someone john squires over at bloody disgusting i want to say pointed this out he pointed out that little hat in the top left it looks more like a hat that Wes Craven had on at one point in time. And in, in, in there's an, actually an image of him. I, I put out a tweet of it just to kind of also bring this up. How many little slight homages and ways of paying tribute to this man they're doing that I guess we're going to have to kind of have our eyes open for. We already have Elm Street. Now we have a, a hat that many have already identified as a hat that Wes Craven has worn at one point in time in his life. So here I would assume Sydney is going into the mocker house for the final confrontation with the ghost face killers or ghost face killer if there's only one. And this will be right before she finds out who this person is. And then, the, of course, we'll have the ever so necessary final battle with Sydney, Gail, Ghostface, Sam. I'm assuming Tara will be there and it's going to be just a fight to the death someone i guess will get set on fire during that <laughs> i've seen a lot of you speculate that's amber getting set on fire so those are those three images i wanted to talk about all very exciting images now jumping into where sydney prescott is in her life according to nev campbell in this new interview that came out again this is going to be more disclosed in the uh total film magazine that comes out later this week but S nev campbell said that sydney is now a mother so another level of strength as a woman she's living out of her hometown she lives away and she has a happy life and that's all i can tell you 
So she also goes on to say because of her history, she'd be an idiot not to have a gun. And <laughs> I think that's a sentiment that a lot of us can agree with. Sydney Prescott not having a gun, I feel like would be something that honestly makes no sense at this point in time. We've seen her with a gun already in screen three. So just keep that trend up. Keep that trend up. We've already seen her with a gun in screen three. She I don't think she's going to discard having a gun on her, especially after everything that's already gone gone down in her life when she already had a gun after two killing sprees that she survived in screen three going through another third one at that point in time so nev campbell disclosed that she her character of sydney prescott is indeed a mother so that little stroller that you guys saw in the trailer was not her babysitting it was not her stealing someone's baby i've seen someone speculate that that is a sign of no i actually put a quoted this tweet someone i guess theorizing that sydney had gone crazy and she stole a baby and she's the killer in the film if you're going to make Sidney Prescott the killer, there's a lot of better ways you can do it than that. I'm just saying a lot of better ways you can do it than that. But that's what she has to say about the character of Sidney Prescott and where she's at in her life. I know a lot of us, myself included, think that Sidney deserves this piece. She deserves to be as happy as she can be after everything she's been through, you know, living with all this trauma for 25 years of her life. And even before that, a little longer because of how her mother died the year, the year prior to all of this starting in her life. You know, this woman deserves all the happiness in the world. This is my favorite final girl character. She is one of my comfort characters. So hearing that one of my comfort characters has all this stuff that's going on that's great in her life. She has a husband, we know, since we, again, we saw that wedding ring. Whether or not we'll get to see the husband, who knows? No doubt in my mind that the husband is going to be Detective Mark Kincaid to some degree. Uh, I don't think we'll hear the name Kincaid, but I just think the going off of the name Mark, that'll be enough for us to kind of connect the dots since we know that he was already into her from scream three he was already into this girl from scream three so to have them reconnect and have this relationship now all these years later and now have kids and be happily married i would hope that's something that is going to become true and kincaid got the girl that he wanted when he first laid eyes on her because he was just infatuated with sydney let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you have any course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. If there's any movies, news, or reviews I'm going to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.